want to get this briefing by email here's the sign up. Good evening, here's the latest. Chris Wadier Reuters 1. The NRA took the rare step of endorsing a gun control measure, backing tighter regulations on rapid-fire bump stock devices like the one used in the Las Vegas attack. Here's the latest. We compiled the best writing from the right and the left on the gun control debate. Today on our podcast The Daily, we discuss bump stocks with C.J. Chivers, an investigative reporter and our resident weapons expert. Investigators are continuing to probe the secret life of Stephen Paddock, a high-stakes video gambler who stockpiled a major cache of weapons without arousing any suspicion. His girlfriend said she had no idea of his plans, blank, Kirsten Luce for the New York Times, too. In Puerto Rico, two weeks after Hurricane Maria, people are still living without power or running water. Not surprisingly, one of the most precious commodities has become a ticket out. Thousands of people are jamming onto the small number of scheduled flights and charter jets available. Florida alone anticipates as many as 100,000 arrivals, and more trouble may be on the way. Tropical Storm Nate is expected to hit Central America, strengthen into a hurricane and strike the Gulf Coast on Sunday. Gov. Rick Scott of Florida urged residents to restock their emergency kits. Hurricane season ends on November 30th, in case you're wondering, blank, Jordan Strauss in vision, via Associated Press 3. A Times investigation found decades of sexual harassment accusations against Harvey Weinstein, the Hollywood mega-producer. He's paid at least eight settlements to women. In a statement to the Times, Mr. Weinstein apologized for his past behavior and said he was planning to take a leave of absence to deal with this issue head-on. However, a lawyer advising him said that he denies many of the accusations as patently false. Here's his full response. Mr. Weinstein has produced hugely successful movies and shows and presents himself as a liberal champion of women. He raised money for Hillary Clinton and recently endowed a university faculty chair in Gloria Steinem's name, blank, a model Ruby agents France Press, Getty Images 4. The Iraqi government said its forces had liberated the city of Haja, the Islamic State's last urban stronghold in the country. The U.S.-led coalition confirmed that the city had fallen, calling it a swift and decisive victory by the Iraqi forces. Kurdish intelligence officials said Islamic State commanders were instructing their men to drop their weapons and flee with their families. The Islamic State still controls significant territory in Syria, blank, Pierre Philippe Marcou agents France Epres, Getty Images 5. Spain's constitutional court has blocked a session of the Catalan parliament in a bid to stop the region's lawmakers from declaring independence on Monday. The central government maintains that the vote was illegal. Above, watching a speech by the Catalan leader in a Barcelona bar. In Madrid, Spanish flags are suddenly appearing on homes. Our European correspondents look at how the referendum has revived a long dormant Spanish nationalism, blank, Andrew Testa for the New York Times 6. Kazuo Ishiguro, the British author known for his spare prose style and his subversion of literary genres, was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. Mr. Ishiguro, 62, is best known for his novels The Remains of the Day, about a butler serving an English lord in the years leading up to World War II, and Never Let Me Go, a melancholy dystopian love story set in a British boarding school. In a statement, he expressed astonishment and gratitude for the honor it comes at a time when the world is uncertain about its values, its leadership and its safety. I just hope that my receiving this huge honor will, even in a small way, encourage the forces for goodwill and peace at this time, blank, David Dermer Associated Press 7. The MLB Best of Five Division Series are set Boston at Houston, the Yankees at Cleveland, the Chicago Cubs at Washington and Arizona at the Los Angeles Dodgers. The American League games start today, the National League on Friday. It's a strong field full of well-rounded teams, and it could be anybody's postseason. But that didn't stop our baseball writer from making playoff predictions. Spoiler alert, he sees Cleveland clinching the title, which would break the longest active drought in baseball, blank, Brian Shirosky for the New York Times 8. We visited a ranch in the high desert of Nevada, where prison inmates learn to work with wild horses. You establish pride in the guy and pride in his job, he's going to be a lot more successful when he gets out of here, the program's director explained. It's easy to recognize the symbolism the horses and the inmates are both penned up. 
Through the training process, they gentle one another. Our photographer called it a beautiful parallel, blank, Ilona Schwark for the New York Times 9. Our critic at large embarked on an experiment this summer, he listened to a ton of albums by women. Who's counting, but 222, he was inspired by a list created by women at NPR in partnership with Lincoln Center, a ranking of the 150 greatest albums by women from 1964 to the present. What it highlighted was the exclusion of women from other lists, like Grammy nominees for Album of the Year. What I was doing was hearing the value in music made by women, hearing a new canon, considering my own and thinking about what rankings made mostly by men omit, he wrote. Also included a playlist of his favorites, including Janet Jackson, above, blank, Stephen Von Warner Brothers. Pictures, via Associated Press 10. Finally, on TV tonight the original Blade Runner, the seminal 1982 film in which Harrison Ford plays a grizzled cop on the hunt for a bunch of androids in 2019 Los Angeles. 630 and 11 p.m. Eastern on Sci-Fi. And he's back in Blade Runner 2049, alongside Ryan Gosling, above. Our critic says the new movie, in cinemas now, tries both to honor the original and to slip free of its considerable shadow. Have a great night, blank. Your evening briefing is posted at 6 p.m. Eastern. And don't miss your morning briefing, posted weekdays at 6 a.m. Eastern, and your weekend briefing, posted at 6 a.m. Sundays. Want to catch up on past briefings? You can browse them here. If photographs appear out of order, please download the updated New York Times app from iTunes or Google Play. What did you like? What do you want to see here? Let us know at briefing at